The prophet Isaiah foresaw this return from the land of the south. Do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. It's been a gradual return for the Ethiopian Jews beginning in the 1980s. And then in 1991, Operation Solomon airlifted 14,000 Jews home to Israel from Addis Ababa in a single day. One of those flights set a world record for people on one plane when a thousand immigrants were crammed into a jumbo airplane and even babies were born en route to Israel. However, in recent years the doors closed to many of the Beta Israel, or Falash Mura, left behind in the refugee camps of Gondar. Then in November 2010, Bibi Netanyahu's cabinet gave the order to not keep them back, and 8,000 additional Ethiopian Jews were given permission to return over a two-year period. These are now in Israel, housed in absorption centers at Mivis Heretzion and Ibim near Sterot, all in need of help. I'm so glad we're able to help the Ethiopian new immigrants absorb into the land of Israel. I myself was a new immigrant at one time, and it made all the difference to receive a care package from someone out there in the nations. We at Vision for Israel and the Joseph Storehouse are privileged to be able to serve these men and women and children as they are absorbed into a new land because many of these people come from villages where they didn't even have electricity. So let us do what we can and stand together for our brothers and sisters. Over the years, we've continually supported Ethiopian Jews at the Mivis Eretzion Absorption Center. But Vision for Israel and the Joseph Storehouse are now standing with the new center in Ibim. These 601 Ethiopian immigrants all arrived in the last few months, having come with very little and in need of all the assistance they can get. The Jewish agency provides temporary housing, food, Hebrew ulpan classes, but it takes people like you, our supporters in the nations, to fill in the gaps with much needed supplies. We are giving out towels for families and then uh, little toys for the household and then there are certain families that we have um, some clothes and items to give to them as well. So when the manager said that there are around six, nine or ten members in every household, I thought that's an opportunity for us to give them a really nice gift. In the beginning, when we distributed assistance to the 100 family apartments, we were lacking towels for them. At best, we could give each family only two towels, simply because we didn't have the budget to provide more. So what you're doing is great, and it really helps. This evening, I was very privileged to see that we were giving out the, from the Joseph Storehouse um, towels and teddies, etc. And it was really um, special for me to see the people. And I believe it's something in God's heart to help the people and new immigrants here. This is my sixth time, and my sixth time working for the Joseph Storehouse. And I believe I've been led from God. I believe that there was the right organization to support and I believe it's important to support the people of this land. It's not easy for these recent new immigrants to make the adjustment from rural African village life to the high-tech Israeli society. That's why they need a helping hand. Barasso Tishala immigrated recently from the Ethiopian highland town of Gundar. Here in Ibim, he was elected chairman by his fellow Olim, or immigrants, to represent them. Barasso is one of the few having higher education. Back in Ethiopia, he was an agricultural expert. So actually, uh, scriptures in the Hebrew Bible convinced you this was home? Of course, of course. I was reading Bible in Ethiopia, and it was, it was interesting, and I believe on that matter. Then I came here to live, and to, it is my ancestors' uh, country. So. My family, my ascenters are in Jerusalem. I also came because of reading the same things you read in the Bible. That's why I made Aliyah. Okay, very good. <laughs> so, it's home. Yeah, it is home. It is our country, it is home. So for home, we should have to sacrifice. Now, when you came here, which is recently, right after that there were rocket attacks 
from the Gaza Strip. Yeah. And what was it like to go through that? No, bombard. <laughs> it is very, very uh, hard uh, sound uh, for two or three days. Uh, everybody was frightened. It's all part of the Israeli absorption process. Soon, many of these new Ethiopian immigrants will be serving in the Israeli army. Three families, making up 25 individuals, had arrived this very morning on a flight from Addis Ababa. We have special family packages for them with extra essential household items. Amit, an assistant manager for the Jewish agency, expressed appreciation. He himself immigrated in the 1980s. In my name and in the name of the Olim, in one word, thanks, that you may always be found among the givers and not the receivers. Thank you in the name of all of the staff. <laughs> Your financial support provides the means to replant these people in their ancient homeland.